What's up guys, my name is Benjamin Skillbeat and this is Freebie TV Studio X, the making of Burner Boys, this African Giants. <laughs> Basically, I I went to I and Fino went to see Bono Boy, and um, we were at his crib, and you know he said he was you know we were just vibing. He said he he's working on his album, so I started playing some of my stuffs for him, and when he heard the beats, he was like, oh wow, this shit is lit, this shit is fire. So he said. He loved the beat, so we started vibing, and I mean, basically, we recorded some part of the song that night. And after that, um, Kelpi, shout out, big shout out to Kelpi too. Kelpi sent me um, what Burner Boy, him and Burner Boy recorded, because you know I wasn't there when they finished the song, but we started the whole song together. And um, big shout out to Burner Boy too for letting me handle this particular project. Without much further ado, let's get right okay, into so it. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I made this particular bit for Bono Bar. I started off with um, an electric piano, and it sounds like this. This is actually the main thing in the song. So after that, this particular electric piano is sent to Mixer Channel 4 and I have this effect on it, I have an EQ and on the EQ I had to cut the low end, you know, and um, I have a reverb. The name of the reverb is Valhalla Room. It's a great reverb. So with the reverb and the EQ, it sounds like this. Without cutting, it would sound, this is how the original thing would sound, you know. So I had to cut the low because I needed, you know, some head drums. Hey, hey, hey. So after that, I played a bass line. This particular song, I, I actually started with the, with the instruments. I mean, like the chords, the bass line, like before moving on to the drums. Sometimes I started with drums, sometimes I start with. But this particular song, I started with instrumentation. So this is the bass line. Oh Lord. You can feel it in your soul. If you're not feeling it in your soul, then you're dead. <laughs> so basically, this is just the bass line, and this bass line is from Nexus. This is a Nexus bass line. And I sent it to channel five. I had to turn down the low cuts. I had to cut, you know, the highs. So it sounds like I have to like fit. I'm all like filtering, like. I had to fit at the high end, so I'm left with only the low end. So it sounds like this. It will sound like this usually. Then I sent the bass line to, I had to send the bass line to um, channel five. And on the bass line is an EQ. I had to cut the, the high. And um, after that, I had this distortion. This is a distortion plugin, and it's called Decapitator, right? So I had to like distort the bass and you know punish the bass. So it sounds like this. Usually, it will sound like this without the. So this is like secret number one: distort your bass line. Right, so here you go, the start. Mm -hmm. 
and this bass line would sound like this without you know you can actually hear it glide mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know why because of legato this lgt is called legato so without it it sounds like this It's fucked up. Am I supposed to say fucked up? Yeah. Because it's actually fucked up, right? So, I added another bass line. I mean, who plays double bass line on a song? Only Ben Jams. So, it's playing like this. So, with the two, you hear like this. You can hear the depth. If you're actually listening to this without your headphones, you might not get to hear all this, right? So, you need... You need to buy, <laughs> you need to buy a good headphone so you can actually hear the low end of the song. Right, so after that, oh, uh -uh, uh -uh. I have transient processor on it, EQ, reverb, and filter. Without all this, it will sound like this. don't want that right so this transient processor is actually very dope most people don't get to use it but it's dope because I had to like you have if you want to to shorten the tail of an instrument you just have to use it right so I had to shorten the tail of so without it it sounds like this then EQ I didn't want the high, so I had to cut it. Then reverb. Then filter. Just a little bit of filtering. It don't be, it don't be. So. Like this, you can actually feel the soul in the music. I love my music soulful, right? So this another instrument, and this I think is a my rainbow sound, and it's from a plugin called Chromaphone. So together it goes. Try. Hi. So this is a mute guitar. It comes once. And the mute guitar has a lot of things in it. I have um, a delay actually, just a delay on it. So it sounds so the delay is just, it's coming, it's like repeating, you know, when you hear once it comes again and again, it comes, it comes, it comes, it comes, it comes, was I supposed to say that, you have, you have a dirty mind man. Damn, bro, this shit is lit. I can't lie. This is like the sauce. This is this is actually a sample, and this sample is called it's called Buzuki. <laughs> what the fuck, Buzuki, bro? <laughs> that shit sounds like like an ancient <laughs> Buzuki. What the fuck? So, but Buzuki is lit as fuck, man. So I had to use it. And you can hear like... I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys a sauce. This sauce is called... 
Vahala Shima. Vahala Shima is dope. I know the name sounds like I'm just, the name sounds like I'm just, you know, I'm just <laughs> bringing up names on myself, but that's the actual name. Come on, man. Vahala Shima. And this is a reverb, right? It's a special type of reverb. And this reverb is mad. This reverb has a lot of tail. So without the reverb, it's, it's just... You can actually do this with any reverb. You just have to increase the decay. There's a lot of decay in this reverb. So once the de there's a decay, it's, it's very loud. It goes, the tail is long. It's very open, like it's room sound, you know? So it comes once in a while in the song. Yo, and after that, so here comes the African giant. That Africa we don't die. It comes. So after that, I start. I think okay. I played another instrument, and this particular instrument is from Expand. This is actually the same chord I played, but as I was changing instrument, I heard this. I was like, oh, this is dope. So together. Then moved on to drums. This is a shaker. This is a shaker loop. I have a bunch of shaker loops. And um there is this plugin called no, I'm not going to tell you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys. But this is actually a shaker, right? Then this is another shaker. I usually like you can see I played it myself, but I usually like just bounce it to wave like. How to layer another one? I think this is this is actually a tambourine. So this tambourine is, is playing the same thing. They are playing the same thing, so they complement each other when they are playing together, right? Then after that is a tone drum. Again, you have to shorten the tail of your sample. Right. Dead. How it's supposed to be. So I'm just laying sound, sound and sound and sound. Different drums, right? So when they play together, they are more full. And again, you have to pan your instruments left, right. So everything doesn't just come in the middle like a mono, you know. You just have to spread your sounds. This is actually a rim shot sent to channel 11. Nothing on it. Most of the times, I just don't affect my drums because I love my drums to sound natural, right? Except when needed. Like when I have to put EQ, you know, and reverb and compressor sometimes. The drum in this song is actually this. And I just had to EQ the drums because I didn't want the high end. So you 
Kongs. Then this is um, this is a feel, a drum feel actually, drum roll. And there's um, oh, there's actually nothing on it, so it's just plain. Then on the intro, I had um, a low-cut theater, automated actually, so. This beat ain't normal. <laughs> so what is it doing? <laughs> what is it doing? This beat ain't... What this automation is doing is, this particular instrument that I showed you guys earlier, this guitar, On the intro, it's actually the filter is actually cutting off. I'll show you guys what it's doing. So this is the filter on it. This right here is the filter. You get, get out of the road. <laughs> so on the intro, see what's going to happen. This filter right here will move. This on its own. <laughs> it's, it's opening. You don't you don't hear it bright at first, so it's just opening. It's opening. It's opening. This beat ain't normal. <laughs> so the main song comes in. So that is what this automation is doing. Actually, automated two two things, I guess. Oh, three. Oh. So basically. I, the same thing is happening on this electric piano. It's happening on a lot of instruments, but you understand the concept. The same is just opening. This beat ain't normal. That's where you hear this particular chant from Burner. This no beat ain't normal. <laughs> is fucking talented bro it's very talented so basically this like i think this like the whole thing except some other little little things that comes in like um transition effects you know like reverse crash and um this particular 808 so there's an 808 drum here Once in a while, it comes here again, it sustains, it goes up. This is the verse, like you can see. What is this? Oh, this is actually a drum loop. It's like a feel, it's a traditional bongo. Hey, hey, hey. So this is a drum, it's like a, I just used it because it works. That's actually my birth part. 
That was my best part in the song. So basically, this is just like the whole. It's just like the whole thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, like I've always said, I'll be, I'll be looking out for you guys for questions. You know, so just ask your questions under the comments, and I'll be glad to help if I can. If I can't, then you can always, you know, do what you have to do. So basically, this is just a song, and this is Burner Boys, African Giant, produced by Benjam's Ill Beats. This beat ain't normal. That guy is so fine. The guy that said that story is so fine, man. You, have to, you need to see her. It is so fine. She's so fine, dog. Hey. So one thing, one thing that's happening here is that the delay I have on the vocal, I forgot to say something about this. This vocal, this is another mistake most of you guys do. I know some of you are actually watching this and most of these producers do this mistake. You don't, you just don't let your delay mess up your vocals, right? So you, you have to... You have to sidechain your delay. So when the artist is singing, the delay docks. When the artist stops singing, the delay opens, right? So it's not when the artist is singing, the delay is, right? The delay is just, so you have to like sidechain your delay so that when the art artist is singing, the delay comes, you know, the delay docks. When the, the artist is done singing, the delay opens up again, you know? Sidechaining your delay is very important and sidechaining your reverb too is. So on, on this particular song, I had to like, you know? So this is the delay and this is the vocal. Oh, sorry about that. The vocal is routed. Yeah, the heck is the vocal. Okay. So this is the vocal, it's routed to this place, this delay. So this delay is actually side-chained. So what happens is... Tell them Africa we don't die. Yeah, 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 yeah. The delay comes. So here comes the when he African sings, the delay child. drops. It opens up again. Many men it drops. Try, yeah, yeah. It opens again. So. If you don't do it like this, then you probably just have to automate or yeah, automate the vocal, automate the delay rather. So, you know, you automate this particular one, then it means you have to like do a whole lot of work because each time the vocal is singing, you, you have to like draw something like this, drop it down. Then when the artist is done singing, it turn it up again. And that's like a, a whole lot of work. So. That's not the proper way to do it. You just have to sidechain the delay. I hope you guys were able to, you know, catch up one or two from this particular song. And I hope to break down more songs for you guys in the future. And, I mean, shout out to everybody that's watching this. Don't stop believing in your dream. There was a time I was actually posting stuff on Ireland. I was posting free beats. Every fucking week I was posting and you know on the comment we were saying ah this is trash this but I didn't give up don't give up in whatever you're doing keep going hard keep doing it and pray to God also because I mean God is like the the reason you know so you have to pray to God and put in work and never stop believing in yourself it's going to happen you know shout out to Free Me TV for coming through again and um, my name is Benjamin Ilbeet. This is Frame TV Studio X. 
the making of Burner Boys African Giant. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Barrex on the Beach, your number one producer. And I'm out here with Femi TV, Studio X, the making of Amaya Boy by Naimali and Slatan. So let's get it. So it was this faithful day. Um, I got a call from Slatan and Naimali.